So now let's look at publishing an image with Visual Studio. So we're going to take a couple steps here. So we're going to create a new project with Docker support. We're going to add Docker support to an existing project because maybe you started a project, but now you need to know, okay, how do I backtrack and add, and add Docker support to this? And then we're going to look at uploading a Docker image to Docker Hub. And of course, at the very end, once we go over commands, we're going to look at running that Docker image into a container on a virtual machine. So now we're going to exit the slides and I'm going to pull up Visual Studio. So what I want to do now, I just want to create a new project and I'm going to do a Blazor app that's fairly simple. Um, Okay, so I'm going to create a Blazor server app, and all right, I'm going to hit next here, and then I'm going to name it something new Docker. Docker project, I'll just call it that. I'm going to hit next. Now here's where you want to, you know, pay attention. You want to enable Docker. Um, that, that's all you have to do. And you want to specify the Docker OS. So when the Docker image is created by Visual Studio, it, it'll either be made to run on Windows or made to run on Linux. Now if you make it to run on Windows, you're going to need, it's only going to be able to run on Windows 10 Pro and there may be some other configurations that you have to do. I just run it on Linux. It's a free operating system. You can spin up a virtual machine relatively simply. Uh, it's lightweight, used on a lot of places, and Docker really runs better on Linux, so that's what I would suggest using. And we'll go through the steps of, of how to spin it up on Linux. So I'm going to create it with Linux. I'm going to hit Create. It's going to take a minute. Okay, so the project has started, and you can see the first thing that pops up, since we created that Docker, since we enabled Docker, it is asking us, it is giving us uh, deployment options. Um, you can also see here on the right side in the Solution Explorer, you have a Docker file and you have a do Docker ignore file, so that ignores certain files that you don't have to include in your image. And those are automatically created for you. We can open them up. And look at them and see it's very convenient that it builds this for you instead of you having to figure out what layers to build and, and that type of thing. We're not going to talk about this in this video and how this works. That's for your own exploration and learning. So that's how you add it to a new so that's how you add Docker support to a new project. So let's look at let's say you have a new project now let's look at how you add Docker support to an existing project. Okay, you can see here I have a MVC project probably, and I don't have Docker support. So if I wanted to deploy this, you know, there would still be options I could use I I I S, but I want to use Docker because it's cool, efficient, and I'm trying to learn with it. So what I'm going to do to enable Docker support is I'm going to go over here to Solution Explorer. I'm going to right click on the project name. I'm going to go down here to add. And I'm going to go down here to Docker support. And click on Docker support. I'm going to choose the target operating system as Linux as usual. And hit OK. And it's going to build me a Docker file for this. Super cool, super easy. It also adds the do Docker Ignore. It's really easy to do this with Visual Studio and something that I wish was better taught or that there was more information about it on the internet. Um, and that's part of why I'm doing this video is to try to get, you know, 
awareness of this technology out there. So now we're going to learn how to actually push the image to the Docker Hub.